I saw that, Bulls. Ten minutes late, huh? Ten minutes late. Hi, Catherine. Hey, Edgar. Angela, what's happening? My little niece Emma's out there. Hey, Emma. Tommy, Lana, what's happening? Mary, I thought about you when we did this show tonight. Bulls, 10 minutes late. Howdy, Beth. Miguel, what's happening? And everybody else out there, what's up? Big Mac, what's happening? Emma, my little baby. Nikolai, what's happening? Very proud of you, son. You know that, my nephew. That's what it's all about this time of year. Orders, guys. Orders, orders, orders. Well, you know, usually I'm on Monday and Tuesday nights. Scotty's home. He had an unfortunate family mishap, and he's home today. He'll be on tomorrow. Uh, but I'm going to be going live. There's my girl. What's up, Dawn? Um, I'm going to be going live a lot from now until Christmas because from what I noticed today in some uh, posts and stuff, a lot of you guys didn't seem ready for Christmas. Maybe I misinterpreted it, but I just wanted to work with you and just get you prepared. Don't wait for Black Friday sales to stock up for Christmas. Buy your stuff now. Make your profit. Take your profit and buy the re-up for Black Friday, guys. Seriously, you got to market now. Santa Claus isn't... We don't need to get into discussion. Now is the time. But tonight's show is dedicated to my friend Sue Lauder. Sue took the time to make a nice confidential post. I did put something under it. She took out, hey Dawn, she took our sublimat, which is a eighth inch thick, 11 by 16 mat pad, it has multiple uses, people over the years were using them for gun collectors to redo guns, fundraises, everything. Yes, it was, Beth. You can give it a shot. So, here it is, guys. The matching mug with the sublimat. This is pretty easy to make. You do need, if you're going to do a full image like this, you are going to need an SG-800 with the bypass tray. If you don't plan on putting the background and doing a lot of designing, you can use an SG-400 and split the images up. But I wanted to give you an idea of the matching mug that I did before we started. Nice full bleed, top to bottom. That's the difference. Hi, Christina. Sublimation 101 mug. It's got that bevel. That's what makes it so easy, the way our bevel is designed. And tonight we're going to do crystal. Sublimation crystal. Hi, Christina. How are you? Eighth of an inch should be no problem, Catherine. So, there we go, guys. Rocking and rolling. You like that Crystal Bulls. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for the shout-out, Bulls. Nice of you to notice what I do. I really appreciate that from a newbie. Speaking of newbies, can anybody that's new never joined us at sublimation101.com before? Please type the word new into your, right now, into the comments box so I can see who is new. It would be appreciated. I'm going to show you how to make this. I am solo tonight. Well, I'm not solo. I got me and... Dr. Pepper in a glass. New, new, okay, new. Well, to my six newbies, welcome. This is, right now, we're coming to you live. This is the Sublimation 101 Training Center located in Branchburg, New Jersey. This is our flat press training center where you come in. We train you and teach you. We hold our classes and seminars here. How to make beautiful sublimation products with our printer, paper, presses, and products. Again, it's a full operational training center. The big screen will be on once we get started. I am, and this is what my sublimation's looking. Hi, baby girl. So, we're going to start simple and easy tonight, guys, with the mug and placemat set. So easy and so fast to make. Good evening, guys. Nice to see everybody. You were only talking to my back of me. 
I am Michael Kaminsky. I am CFO of Sublimation 101 in Branchburg, New Jersey. Full line authorized dealer manufacturer of sublimation ink, printer, paper, presses, and products and more. Visit us at sublimation101.com. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. So I'm going to open up Sawgrass Design. Hey guys, I'm going to ask you now if we can hold the questions. And to the newbies, that's when you're here, you would be sitting back here watching me over here on the big screen do everything. So I'm going to put it up over to the monitor. Hey, Mike, what's up, Big Mike? Okay, don't forget we have our open house this week, and we're going to be going live from there as well. Sue took the liberty right here of making this design and sharing it with everybody today. And this is great. I mean, is it a simple design? That's up to you. That you would have to ask yourself if that's a simple design. I will tell you one thing. I'll put the words on later. You can read that all crystal clear. But that is a beautiful design. Now, you can make this for anybody and everybody. The whole key factor is, is again, the printer and the size. This image right here is 16.26 by 11.33. I'm going to stretch it out a little because when Sue gave it to me, it was 16 and a half by 11 and a half. So that's my canvas that I'm working from. Hey, Sharon! Uh, that's the canvas I'm working with. Is a 16 and a half by an 11 and a half. You can see it right here in the corner of your monitor going on 13 by 19 paper. Okay, we're simply going to print it out, guys. Once we hit print, we're going to go over here, and we're simply going to follow our path of sublimation printing. I love using the Sawgrass SG400 and 800 and being a platinum preferred vendor for them. I learned so much about the product. It was just unbelievable the way it's advancing now. It's just getting only better for you, the end finisher. And being part of their beta testing team in 2019, Sublimation 101 is going to have the privilege of sharing a lot of cool stuff with you guys. So we're looking forward to that. It's a large file, so it is going to take some time to print, guys, I, and load. Which, again, this being a cloud, this time of year, we're going to be very, very busy. So remember that when you're printing and designing, don't get flustered. Click here to print. And once that's going to happen, Cassandra, who is the Virtuoso Print Manager, is going to load us up. Right down at the bottom, there she goes. Now remember, we're working with a neoprene product. This is not rubber. Don't be fooled by any imitation product. All of our neoprene product, mouse pads, can covers, placemats, and so forth, are neoprene, not rubber. You can tell by a lot by the smell. So when you hit high speed and you hit polyester fabric, you go text print R, auto trace select, mirror images on, my color is a graphic. Now again, I have polyester fabric at high speed. Hey guys, Richard, uh, Griff, Michelle, high speed always for fabric. Why high speed for fabric? If I hypothetically used high quality and not high speed for polyester fabric, would that affect me? Hi, Gracie. Would that affect me? No. It's pennies and ink, guys, but it's there for you to use. Again, when you take your time, Gene, Gene, the dancing machine, thank you for joining me tonight. Hey, Jim, I hope you're out there. You got it, the smell of money, baby. That's what I like, Brandon. Thank you very much for that comment. I appreciate that. Appreciate you guys taking your time on a Monday. Hey, did I tell you there's only six Mondays left until Christmas and two until Hanukkah? I think I told you that today, and that's what freaked everybody out. That's when I saw some reactions going. Now, if I had high quality and I went over to polyester fabric, would that make a difference in my print? No. No. If you notice, watch the print right here, guys. I'm set for high speed. Watch when I hit high quality. Nothing changed. But do you want to see something cool? I'm in graphic. Now watch over here. I'm going to click to photographic. Now my color just changed. So no, it will not make a difference with the high speed and the high quality. In this part, it might make a difference. You only click to photographic when it has a photo which consists of a flesh tone. 
regardless if the young boy Jack, whose name is here, his photo was here, I would click photographic because that flesh tone is the most important part of it. So our print is going to come out once it comes out, guys. We're going to go right over to our heat press. I hope I gave you a good view tonight. Right there. Perfect view. And we're going to get our supplement. I will put the product link up in a moment for you while the print is going. I just want to show you the product. This is Sublimat. It's a, a eighth inch thick. It could be used for a dog uh, dish. It could, it's a multi. It's a multi versatile product, guys. I mean, if you brand it into your industry, it can work for a pet placemat. It's just it's got its place in the market. You have to use the end finisher is marketed to your clients right. That's where this all comes down to now. Okay. Just put up the product link for you. Okay, hi Lorraine. So let me get back over here for you guys. Give me one second, please. Thank you so much. Now what I'm going to do here is take my image and I'm going to lay it face up on my heat press. I'm going to take my sublimat and I'm going to lay it face down. What I want to watch is the writing, the sign, the feet of Santa Claus, the bottom part, as well as the top at the same time, and now give my little peek. Because I do not want to cut off some key features. And when I say that to you on the key features, guys, I don't want to cut this bottom off. This bottom cut off, your customer is going to be very unhappy. At the top, see how our ribbon and lights, we have the cookies, everything is clean in the borders. Excuse me, coffee mug. Everything is clean in the borders. Okay, I hope you understood that. So now I'm just going to simply go over here with you. And I'm going to tape my image right into place like so. I'm going to take a nice piece of butcher paper. Always use non wax butcher or parchment paper on your press, guys. You can get a big roll of it at Costco, any of your outlet stores. The holder you can find in maybe a, a home, uh, a hardware store or a restaurant depot type store. So I'm simply just going to lay that down right there. Because it's a larger neoprene, I pressed it down at a medium pressure, if you notice. I'm going 400 degrees. Yes, the paper is 13 by 19. Ivan, what's happening? 13 by 19 paper, that is correct, guys. So we got that going on like Donkey Kong. We're going to press it down at 400 degrees for about 45 seconds. Give it a nice press. We're going to let it cool down. We're going to get our paper off. And then you'll see why we had the butcher paper on under there because the first one we did left a lot of green. And we don't want to put that on the back of another item. So we're going to open that up. Simply, my paper is going to come right off. That is always garbage. Remember, the paper is the most important part when we get it out. When the press is open and goes down, the paper is now garbage. I'm more worried about my product. And as you see right here, I'm going to flip it around. We have our perfect placemat. Hey, Annette, long time no speak. I hope to see you at the open house this week if you have time. Brandon, these are the men's wallets you just asked, my friend, right here. These are our PU leather wallets. They come in brown and black. And you have your choice in the brown and black. You can go with the ID that comes out or without Brandon we have the two styles 
Thank you, Kendra. Emma, you know that Uncle Michael's house is always open. Please do, Annette. You know you're always welcome. Hey, Jamie. Hi, Tamara. You like it, guys? Came out good, didn't it? I'm glad you did. I loved it, too. I really did. Now, the coolest part is with this, check this out. If you're working on multiple designs with Sublimat, thank you, with Sublimat, what I would do here is, for this part of the mugs, I would simply go over the product real quick. Watch this. This worked pretty good before. I think you know this little trick I always do when I'm doing four to a page on mugs. Eight and a half by 11, grid with inches. I'm simply going to shrink that down and pop it right in there and try to get four of those to a page. The height, you'll probably get two if you're doing the full bleed because I did it at four inches, guys. My height was four inches on my mug. That's what gave me the full bleed. Um, if I rotate 90, I could probably get two to a page being the larger size. But that's what made it easy. Thank you, Felicia. Thank you. So, guys, I already took the liberty of sending out a couple of prints so we don't have to waste time and we can get on making products tonight. So I got a couple of prints right here, as you see, with the mugs. There they are. I'm going to go over here to our paper cutter, and I'm simply going to trim my mugs down. Now remember, guys, when you're making mugs, please remember one crucial key factor when making mugs this holiday season. No matter what is on that paper, Always leave a white border around the whole transfer. Do you see my white border? Do you see my white border? Okay, good. You see it. Yes. Always have to have the white border, guys. There's a couple of reasons why. <clears throat> Number one, when putting on your heat tape, when putting on your heat tape, you do not want the tape covering the color. That'll leave a mark. That'll leave a mark, okay? And you also want to leave the white border to stop any excess ink from making your edges not clean, smooth, and crisp. I hope everybody understood that. So tonight we're using the Sublimation 101 6-in-1 dual pressure control multifunction mug press. For my newbies, we are now in the Sublimation 101 training center number two, which is our 3D vacuum press mug press training center. This is where you, the end finisher, gets to come in at our open houses, our workshops, our events and have fun and use all the equipment and learn everything we have to offer. And those of you that have been here more than one occasion, there's a reason you keep coming back and it's not because I'm good looking or serve good food. So we got that all set. When you turn on your multifunction mug press, you're gonna push the mode button once, set it at 350, push it again 380, push it again for 60 seconds and you're gonna let it warm up to 350. You're only gonna change that at 30 seconds. The only time you use 30 seconds, get your pens out, is when you make glass, aluminum, and plastic. Those particular items require less time because they are better conductors of heat than ceramic. Today was a fun, it was a great learning day today for myself as well. Because I've got very, I got a lot of phone calls today from a lot of new mug press users that didn't understand this part right now. I put it in and I close the machine and push the start button. If you take notice, my temperature is going down. The mug was cold, ceramic is a poor conductor of heat. But you will also notice my set light is on. My set light being on means that the pad is gonna heat up to that 380 degrees and automatically do its 60 second countdown. 
So right now, if I was making a lot of mugs, I would be sitting prepping them ready instead of standing around watching them. Sergeant Disler, how are you, sir? Captain Disler, I don't know which one, but T-neck, thumbs up. So our machine is going. So while that's going, guys, I'm going to show you again the multifunction mug machine. When I mention that to you, you can do curved glassware and tumblers, curved pint glasses, curved large lattes. We give you the attachment. You get the smaller attachment for the small latte. You can do all your beer mugs and beer steins. I don't know if some of you are aware. Sublimation 101 offers 108 different drinkables, and we let you buy them all singly. Tomorrow night's show is what I promised you the other night, how to make candle holders, cookie jars, piggy banks, and frosted candle holders in a mug press. Tomorrow night, guys. And again, these are all of our drinkwares we offer here. We have everything from white 11 to 15 to color to spoon mugs to water bottles and drinkware and more. I hope you enjoy. This is our full line of double wall tumblers. These keep your hots hot for 12 hours, your colds cold for 24 hours. That's the Rambler, the one with the bar. And we have our Tivana and of course our new one, the wine bottle, which we did the other night. Thank you guys, thank you. Now, back to our mug press while we were doing a tour. It heated up and it's automatically doing its countdown without babysitting. Keep an eye out for a lot of good specials we're gonna have coming up for the holidays, guys. As you see, we're starting. 60 seconds was the time on this particular mug, if that's what you were asking, Felicia. Oh yeah, Sharon, you didn't see that one. Double wall, wine bottle. You like that, Sharon? It matches your motorcycle too, doesn't it? Okay, that's gonna be cooking down. There you go, give me some love. Show me some likes tonight, guys. Monday Night Football, the Giants are playing. Ha ha ha. My mug press is beeping. I will push the stop button. It'll stop the beeping. I'm simply gonna open up my mug press. The handle is cool to the touch. The mug is 400 degrees hot. I always show you scratch off on the paper, lift up the tape, use it as an agent to pull the rest off. That's the difference of a AAA mug to a lot of mugs out in the market is being able to do the full bleed in a mug press. Top to bottom. Perfect color every time. <clears throat> How you like those apples, baby? Time to go to school. Because without 101, it's just sublimation. So we're going to go back in here. It's crystal time. Guys, you know why I'm going live? It's, it's the holiday time. I'm done with my shopping. I'm all finished already. My shopping was very easy. Thank you, Sharon. I will see if I can get the design available from Sue Lauder, who I'm dedicating my show tonight. If she's willing to share it with me so you guys could just put a name in. I mean, the writing is simply exquisite. That's okay, Linda. We're still going, and you can watch it later. We'll be on. Yeah, the writing is exquisite. Even on the mug, guys. Look at the writing. Look at that beautiful full bleed. Top to bottom. No problem when you use a AAA mug, guys. But I don't want to keep talking about that because we already know that we have the best quality product in the industry. Everything has a QC on the box. You like that, huh? Yeah, give me some love and some thumbs up because I'm going to show you some crystal tonight, baby. All right, let's make some crystal. I'm just going to take a little swig of my Dr. Pepper in a glass. Oh, 
Hello, Robin, Lynn. 12 by 16 is the mat size. Linda, I will put the link up right now for the product. Okay, guys, I just put up the link for you for the Sublimat product. There it is, Sublimat product link. There it is right there. Hey, Barb. Barb, look what we're making. Check it out. We're taking the Sublimat and we're making placemats with matching drinks for Santa and his reindeers. It's priceless, especially if you put the year on it, guys. It's a family tradition. Hey, Charlene. Joe, we're making the sublimat. I just put the link up and the matching mug that went with it. And now we're going to start on crystal, guys. We're going to crystal. Okay? I can recap, guys. You know that. But let's move on for the people that already saw. And we can recap anything you want to see tonight. Crystal's in a clamshell. Sound like I'm at a seafood restaurant. Yes, they do work. Crystal in a clamshell does work. Right now, it's Sublimation 101. I have two size crystals. Our crystal is a K9 grade crystal, which means it's a lead-free content. Your crystal comes packaged to you as shown. I would put it back in the bag and press my crystal and put it back in the box. Oh, look. A polish cloth comes with it. You know whose name is going on the polish cloth, don't you? Yes, I do. Give me a yes. No, that's right. I hope you nodded. Whose name's going on the polish cloth? Yes. Your name. There you go. Thank you. So I have right now in stock, I'll put the link up, I have the Curved Edge, which is one of my most popular. I've been selling it for many years, too. And working with overseas with the development was we developed the bead with the coating on it. That's what made it a lot easier for you, the end finisher, to sublimate. If you look back at the old ones from back in the 90s, the late 90s, they tried to do a solid white. It did not work because you got a lot of residue and overrun over here and it was taking sublimation ink and you were getting colors. That was a problem. So we have the large and the small curve. And of course, we have the Sublimation 101 famous heart. Okay, so we're good so far. Hold your questions till we're done, please, because I am solo tonight. So, guys, let's take it and let's make a big crystal. The first thing I'm going to do is lay my crystal onto my press and adjust my pressure to make sure. Oh, my God, is he doing it in a clamshell press? Yes, he is. Nice medium pressure and bite. That's done, ready to go, guys. My crystal is ready. So now, what you're going to do here is simply take your measurements. You know I always carry my scrap around. I like to. I don't want to waste paper when Brother Barrington's watching. Uh, I got a five, seven, five and three quarter width. And I've got a four inch height. So I made my little notes. Remember, these crystals can stand up, right up and sideways. So we're gonna go for one this shape tonight. The curve, watch how which way your client might want the curves. That little mark is from the Made in China sticker, which came right off under the heat press, which I will wipe off with Windex when we're finished. And that would be ready to go. So let's go over to our creative studio. Pip it out in Iowa, what's happening? Okay, guys, so there we are. So I see I got a little lag on you. So what I'm going to do here is...
Excuse me. Sublimation crystal right there. I'm going to copy that out for you. And this is the product, guys, that we are going to be working with tonight. I just popped the link up. There we go. Sublimation crystal. There it is. So tonight I'm going to be using an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Now, if I really want to get cool, I can make a whole set of a crystal. A crystal. A... That's what we're doing. There it is. That's what's going to go on the first crystal, guys. A matching set. The crystal block, placemat, and coffee mug. Okay? Now, we're going to print this out. When we send it to our printer, guys, very simple and easy. Follow the path. Okay? Now, this is the biggest mistake I'm about to show you that a lot of you make when making this product. But you know why? Because it's just habit forming in what we do. High quality. I'm going to go to ceramic and glass, which is in the crystal family. Choose the paper I'm using. Turn off mirror image. Turn off mirror image, go to color, pick graphic, and print. Why did he, which crystal is showing not in your shopping cart, please? Of course it can work for a mouse pad. Norman, that's a great idea, sir. That is a great idea, Norman Butler III. Thank you. Norman, call me up. You got a bonus tomorrow, my friend. Thank you. Norman, I didn't even think of that. That's what teamwork is about. Thank you, Norman Butler. I got a bonus for you. That's really cool of you. Glass, frames, crystal. Wow, look at that clock. That's coming up soon too, guys. Glass clocks. Can you give me an item number? And the glass cutting boards. You do not mirror image. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you something now. We do not mirror image those particular glass products. Why, Michael? I mirror image everything. Good for you. No, stop. Because the sublimation polymer white is on the back of the crystal. Okay? My sublimation white is on the back of the crystal. So by me pressing it non-mirror image, it's going from the back to the front. If I did mirror image and put it on, it will come out backwards. No mirror image on crystal. Heat tape, hold it right in place, follow the seam. Pick it up, flip it over, hold it in the center, done. You're gonna set your press for 400 degrees for three and a half minutes. Okay, you might notice something with crystal, like ceramic, Watch your press and see if your temperature goes down. Guys, I'm going to suggest one thing to you this year. Put your press at about 405 degrees. And the reason I recommend that this time of year, you're working with a lot of products. And if the press is in continuous use, the heat can drop down. You might go from ceramic to metal to plastic. So I would definitely recommend, hi Lisa, I would definitely recommend that you do that. If you can tell me which small crystal... Christine would help. I need the product ID number. One of them I am out of. I know that. If not, I could double check now while that crystal is cooking over here, if you don't mind. And this would be a good time to ask any questions. I'm going to check the crystal for you. And if you can have any questions, let me know, guys. SC50 is in stock. SC69 is in stock. The small one, Christine, SC69 is in stock. I'm showing in stock, Christine. I'm showing SC21 out of stock. 
Ah, I told you, Lisa. The heat gloves I should have in very soon, guys. But if not, you can always compensate at a store with of gloves or anything like that. That'll always work for you. But always try them on. Do me a favor. Martha, I need you, please. Can you go in and go uh, check on SC69 to make sure it's enabled? It's a crystal, please. She's checking it right now. We're still at the office. Oven mitts. Exactly, bulls. Hey, Jesse Gibson. Welcome to the first time watching us live at Sublimation 101. I don't want to lag the mug out. I don't want to stretch it out, Emily, to make it look distorted. I want to keep my proportion. To the newbies, this is the Sublimation 101 Flat Heat Press Training Center. Thank you, Christine. I can't be awesome without you guys. It might be time for new gloves, Mike. <clears throat> to be honest with you, our, our crystal is cooking really nice, guys. And I should go get myself an up glove because the crystal comes out. Remember, it's burning hot. It's okay? SC, thank you. Your crystal is back in. So we're going to open up our machine, guys. Nice and easy. Remember what I told you about the paper. It's garbage. Get it off. See how fast I took it right off? Now there is our matching crystal to go with our coffee mug, which goes with our placemat. How'd that come out, guys? How easy is crystal? Crystal is easy. You gotta love it, guys. Crystal is easy. Well, obviously, you're going to do the small block the same way I just did the big block. Now, guys, a lot of you get nervous on the next one. The next one would be that heart-shaped crystal. Um, again, it's such an easy product to make because all I want you to do is simply take your crystal out of your box like so. I'm not worried about the base is right here. I'm not worried about the base and the foam holder. I'm just going to put those to the side. Now, speaking of the base, my base is attached right here. I did it with a lovely product that we all know. E6000, the economy size. I like to keep the little tube around versus the big tube. Big tube makes a mess. I find it with big hands, this is more comfortable. Yes, Bulls, that was the small one, brother. Sorry about that, Bulls. Here you go, Bulls. I got you right here, kid. Thank you. Sorry about that. I went a little too fast. Bulls, there's the small one, and there's the big one, guys. There we go. That's the small one and the big one. Right there. Okay, we're good right now. Super duper. So guys, the crystal. You notice I let my crystal air cool? You're not going to be able to attach the base until after it air cools, so you have two options. If the customer is waiting, you could tell them to get a small jar or, again, economy size, E6000 to adhere it. Or they can wait. I have my press again. You see all set. I checked my pressure. I'm going to take my heart crystal. I'm going to flip it back over to the sublimation side up. And I'm going to go over to Creative Studio and get creative. Hey, Virginia, the chicken pot pies were the best I ever had in the world. Thank you as always, my love. You make the best chicken pot pies. Select all. 
object delete Virginia look I still have one more left a Virginia Lewis special chicken pot pie if you never had one ho 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 you're missing out You like that chicken pot pie, didn't you? It takes about 15, 20 minutes to air cool, Lisa. So I'm going to go over the product over here, guys, and I'm going to look around and see what I can find here now. Um, let's type in the word heart and see what comes up. That would be the first thing I would personally do. Okay, so I don't see that five inch is a little large, four inch. Let me double check my measurements. That one right about there is pretty much in the size that I need. There would be our heart. Now, if you want to get a little creative in Creative Studio and maybe throw a background around a picture or a season's greetings or something into the holiday, always search and see what comes up. Just give a look. You know I use this, and you guys always love when I use this one. Okay, there's one. Now, I'm going to take my image. Okay. Yes, I should have probably removed the background on my image before I'm going to place it in right now. I will agree with you there on that one. But I don't have time tonight to go into Photoshop or anything to remove the background, so I'm going to do my best for you. You can always move it around to get positioned. Maybe stretch it out a little. You could put a photo right and drop it in the middle, or if you want well, just one big photo on the rock, there's your one big photo on the rock. All done. Ready to go. So you could take your pick, and basically that's where you can go with it. So we're going to go over here, and... <clears throat> Let's print out our photo so we can get some true photo quality to show you guys. Nothing better than reproducing a photo. Hope you love that one. Everybody loves that one, Hope. I know. That one's one of my favorites, that love. You can use it for just so many different things. Now, guys, we're going to follow a new path here, okay? So with our path, we have ceramic glass, text print art, auto tray select, high quality mirror image turned off. Beautiful. When I go to my color, I got to change it to a photographic because it has flesh tone in it. And I'm simply going to hit print. I'm done. That's how easy it is, guys, to put a photo on a crystal. Okay, I hope you're enjoying this evening. I thank you so much for joining us on a Monday night. Again, I will be going live probably every day up until Christmas, just so you have an idea. I just want to make sure everybody's prepared for the holidays. And fortunate enough, I love what I do, and I don't mind uh, being here doing this. Product link for the crystals going up again. There we go. Just zapped you with the product link for the crystal, guys. I hope you got that. So I'm going to come over to our heat press right now. I'm simply going to take everything I want inside the heart. And what's nice is, with me being able to position it and look at everything, watch this, guys. Watch this. You can see right through, so you know you don't make a mistake. You can see right through to catch it the right way you want to position it. I, I am a authorized vendor. I'm the only one in the tri-state area for Text Print R. 
is Beaver Paper. I'm the only authorized vendor for that product in this in the tri-state area. Oh, excuse me. There's one other company in New Jersey that's an authorized vendor too. There's only two of us, excuse me, in the state of New Jersey and New York and Connecticut. I'm simply going to turn it over like I did before, and I'm going to press it down for that 400 degrees for 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Thank you. I'll put a link up for our paper. Again, we are an authorized distributor. And for Unisub, Sawgrass Platinum Dealer, Unisub Platinum Dealer, Hick Stalls Geo Knight, Best Sub Agent for Best Sub China, Tech Rebutton Machines, and many more. If you need a copy of any of our credentials, they can be provided ASAP for you. So, let me get the link up for paper for you there, sir. You asked me. Comes in a wide variety of sizes. And thank you for asking. There's your sublimation paper link. Do I also sail? What do you mean? I don't... In the ocean? I like a motorboat. Zoe, I don't understand the question. I'm sorry. Yes, I sell heat presses. Um, how about I put up a link for our website right now because it is the same name as the company as the page that you guys are on right now. Here you go while our crystal is cooking. Yes, I do. Whoever asked me about the baby clothes, there is your link right up. Got it. Emily, I would definitely suggest you call me after the show if you have time. If anybody has any questions, the office is open. I just put the link to the website. Starting this Saturday, don't forget the open house is Wednesday, Thursday, uh, excuse me, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of this week. Starting this Saturday, sublimation101.com will be shipping this Saturday and every other Saturday until Christmas. You're so welcome, guys. Just so you know. Wanted to surprise you, but the surprise is over. Call the governor. Ah, you like that, huh, Saturdays, baby? I'm in it for you, not for me. There's no I in the word team. So our crystal's cooking up right here. It's pretty much almost done. Um, I'm going to let it cool down before I glue it, but I will show it to you. But I do want to tell you something at the same time, guys. Okay? Our crystal is just about finished. Let's open up our press. Let's pull it off. Now remember, our crystal is piping hot right now. Let me jump down over here for you. There is our photo crystal heart. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Now, guys, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Edgar. <laughs> Bulls, thank you, brother. Thank you. So here's my little stand right over here. I just want to make sure you can see it. I will not apply the glue or do anything until that crystal cools down. But now, if you noticed, when I put my crystal down, I put the smooth side down and the sublimation side up top. I don't want that to lean on anything. Never, it's soft. That is all soft from the sublimation and the coating. 
I am a platinum dealer, though, for Sawgrass Technologies, one of their largest dealers in the East Coast. You will glue a dabble of glue right inside of there, and there is your heart crystal finished. Get a little love on that quality right there. What's happening? I don't see no hearts, no likes, no love. I'm leaving. Thank you, Annette. I'm going home. That's it. Where we go? That's what I'm talking about. That's how we make crystal, guys. Emily, if you follow what I did, Emily, you could do it perfect, too. This is what I do. I've been doing this for 25 years. I've got a huge facility in Branchburg, New Jersey, and a training center for URN finishers. You know that's badass. Let's speak it out. Look at that quality. You know who's the man. That's right, 25 years, baby. 25 big ones and count them. Often imitated, never duplicated. Pretty soon another one will bite the dust, trust me. That's what it's all about. Bam! Look at those Santa Paul. Oh, 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 look at that Santa stuff right there. That's a $69.95 ticket all day. Three-piece uh, ensemble there. Thank you, Lisa. Look at that. Bing, bang, boom. Dedicated to my friend Sue Lauder. Um, so I'm going to put a number up for you to call me. Uh, Zoo, I'd like you to give me a call. Green mat. Medium pressure. No green mats. Marie, how you doing, honey? I got your message. I got to talk to you tomorrow. Call me because I always forget when you message me like that. Your artwork. I need to talk to you about that, too. Beautiful stuff. Zo, I'd like you to call me. Zo, that is my number. I'm in the office right now if you need me, guys. Give me a call. Give us a shout. Listen, thank you for joining me on a Monday night, guys. Boom, we got a lot more coming for you this holiday season. It's only begun. Remember, six Mondays till Christmas, two Mondays till Hanukkah. You were laughing and were saying, Michael, the beginning of October, Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> Six Mondays left, baby. Six, count them. Pretty soon, done. There'll be five, then four, then three, then two, then one, and poof! Hanukkah, Harry, Santa Claus, they all come down. Thank you guys so much. I hope you know I'm right here. Ah, Thank you guys. Remember, stop the bomb, hug your mom, keep on sublimating. I'm Michael Kaminsky, CFO. Sublimation101.com is the place to be. Come see the only training facility building in the industry. You heard me right. I am the only company that has a full-size training facility for you, the end finisher. We are an authorized recommended vendor. Check the credentials. Sawgrass, Beaver Paper, Hicks, Stalls, Unisub, Geo Knight. Platinum level dealers for all these organizations. Not a problem. Again, I thank you so much. And I love you guys back. Thank you for enjoying the work, Emily. And I love you guys back. Without us, there's no you. There's no you without me. I can't do this without you. I love this. This is what I do. Badass. You know it, baby. You know it. Lock, cock, ready to rock. I'm always on for Donkey Kong. All right, you keep it live. I'll see you tomorrow night. This is Michael Kaminsky coming to you live down at sublimation101.com in Branchburg, New Jersey. Keep on sublimating.